Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you aren't subscribed before I jump in, go ahead and hit that red button and subscribe and hit the bell so you get all my new content. Okay, so for today's video, I just got in several of the newer palettes and a couple of dupes. So I put a poll up on my Twitter to see what y'all wanted to see first. And this is what won. So today we did a look on this Anastasia Prism palette. It is definitely gorgeous. I've used it already. So you can see I have the look on now. This gives you a chance to see kind of how that fallout was. Definitely not terrible. This is not another subculture. I promise. It is so different. But uh, that was what I got. So today's look. I am inspired by Anne Nook. If you have not seen her, she is incredible. All of her videos are just a close-up of her eye, except for a couple. And she makes the prettiest looks. They're all under like... 10 minutes so they're quick to watch absolutely gorgeous and she's just perfect she's also in a group with me on Facebook so I can't wait to share this out I hope it makes her as excited as it makes me but go check her out for sure I will link that video in the description so you can get to her channel I promise you she is amazing but uh, this is the look that I came up with today uh, this is my first time really attempting like a legit cut crease. Still not sure I did it 100% right, but I tried and I hope I did her look justice and I hope y'all like this look because this is my first time digging into the prism and I feel like it's just so pretty. I love it, but uh... I'm going to go ahead and quit rambling now. Today is going to be a voiceover video, so I can hurry up and get this edited and ready for y'all. And uh, I will see y'all on Saturday. So I hope y'all have a great day. Keep watching to see how to do this look. And uh, yeah, see y'all in a minute, guys. Okay, so we're going into the Prism Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and the first color we're going to go into is Spear. I'm taking that on a Morphe brush and just putting it all over my crease. This is going to be kind of like my transition shade, which is weird because I usually use a tan, but like I told y'all, I'm following what Ann Nook did, and this was her transition shade. I thought it looked really nice and just the overall effect was so different. And by the way, this color is super pigmented. It's easy to build so it doesn't get too crazy unless you make it, but it's amazing. Then I went into Saturn. I took that on the same blending brush, I do believe, and I put it just a little bit lower down into the crease just to be sure that Sphere was still visible but that Saturn was the main color. It kind of deepened things up, made everything look a little bit nicer, and started that sunset effect right off. So, then I took a little baby brush and I went into Obsidian, that is the black in the palette, and I just made a really harsh line with it uh, this started out my cut crease and I'm going to tell you now that throughout the day because I'm recording this at the end of the day I realized that if you have hooded eyes like me the outer edge of that crease needs to be a little more straight out as opposed to swooping it down and that will drastically make the look better but while you're making this harsh line you want to be sure to go in kind of lightly and build it up just so that you don't look like you stuck eyeliner on your eye or something you want to definitely be sure you do that <clears throat> and blend out that outer edge just so it's a teeny bit less harsh on the outside. Then we're going to go into Parallel, that's the chocolate brown in the palette, and just use that to blend that harsh line out a little bit because we do want to keep that sunset effect going in the crease as much as we can. Here I realized that I messed up with my crease because hooded eyes and hardly any crease space, so I went back in with Saturn and put it up over parallel <clears throat> just to add the crease in and then I went back in with sphere because I realized I covered it up completely 
And uh, now Sphere basically is like my Bravo and highlight, which was a little weird, but it came out okay. So I just added that back up there to be sure that I had that color in the look. And then I went in with some shape tape because what else? And I used that on a flat brush to cover up that cut crease so the colors would lay down better and to get any pigment that was on my eyelid kind of out of the way. I do not do cut creases often and when I do something like a cut crease I very rarely use concealer for it but this actually performs really well and it just covers everything up and gives you a blank surface to put those shimmers down on. So once that was done, it was time for the glitter and I took a small brush and I went in to Lucid. That's kind of the white color and I spritzed it with some Fix Plus because Fix Plus makes everything better. And I put it on the inner corner of my eyelid. It was kind of hard to get it to build up. It's kind of chunky so you have to go at it a few times just to get <clears throat> the effect that you want. But I got that in there and it looks stunning. For some reason with this eye, it just went on exactly how it was supposed to on the first slot. I don't know what I did different, but I'm gonna have to figure that out because that eye was flawless. Then I went into Pyramid. That's a really pretty gold and I put that on the middle of my lid. This is just gorgeous. If y'all watch my videos, you know that I love gold on the lid anyway, so perfect. I got to do what I wanted. But this kind of makes that sunset start to build out and gives it an ombre effect. And when you're doing it, be sure not to go above that cut crease line or you'll kind of mess everything up. I mean, there, there are no mistakes in makeup. Everything is beautiful, but you'll mess it up. So then I went away from what Anne did and I went into Eternal. I wanted to give a little more of an ombre effect with this, so I put this on the outer corner of my lid because I felt like this kind of made it fade from, you know, white to gold to copper, and I thought that would be really pretty just to add my own little flair in there. So I put that in, and that one actually laid down the easiest out of the three glitters and actually looked how it's supposed to. And of course I went in and touched up a couple of things just to be sure. Then I took obsidian and this is where you have to be careful. And I put it in the outer V just to kind of deepen everything up, make sure that the look had the exact vibe I wanted and you know, it just gives it a different depth, which is always a good thing. And if you go in light handed and build it up, this is not at all hard to do. And that is the end of the lid. So I hopped off camera, took care of everything else, and then I came back for my lower lash line. If you can see, I'm kind of fumbling a bit. But I took my flat brush and went into obsidian, and I just made a harsh line with that right at my lash line. And then I went in with a blending brush and went into sphere and I tried to focus this closer to the inner corner because I want to kind of mirror what I did on my lid on my lower lash line as well so I put that in there and then I went into Eden which I probably should have used on my crease but your girl forgot so I didn't but I put it down here in the middle just to give me that in-between shade. And then I went into Saturn and put that on the outer V of my lower lash line to tie everything up and together with my crease. And then I took the blending brush and just blended everything together to make sure it all kind of flowed. And then to take care of my inner corner, I took Lucid. And oh my God, if you use it with your finger, it is just so gorgeous. Like, look at it. Pop. It pops. It's perfect. So I took that and I put a little bit on my brow bone. You can't really see it because of sphere, but it's there. And uh, that is the look. I am so excited to have actually done a cut crease that turned out decent. I actually tweeted this the day I did it and Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics tweeted me back and said it was pretty and my heart sang. 
But uh, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this look. And I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.